What's up guys, Greg with Pizzles Tech Time, back again with another video. And today, I got a nice quick video for you today about cable modems and why you should be excited for Doxus 3.1. Now, when I first initially got Comcast about six months ago, I decided to just go with a lower tiered speed because what they offered for internet speeds wasn't too exciting for me. Uh, now, they do have a fiber connection that will allow you to get gigabit plus speeds. That's what they call it, gigabit plus. It has two gigabits up and two gigabits down. Now, that's completely insane. That's more of a business speed that I would love to get, but I can't afford that. That's about like uh, maybe $200 a month. We're talking just for internet. So uh, that's pretty amazing, guys. I would love, love, love to get that, but I just can't afford it. The issue that I'm trying to solve here is to get my upload speed somewhere near my download speed. So let me tell you where I'm at right now. 400 megabits per second download, and I'm at 10 megabits per second upload. So the issue there is uh, the upload, obviously. Download, I'm, I'm fine. At 400, I'm pretty good. So Comcast offered me uh, Gigabit. Now, not Gigabit Pro or Gigabit Plus, whatever it is that they're offering for the business uh, customers. This is regular Gigabit for cable. So you don't need a crazy installation, but they did tell me that someone's gonna have to come check my wiring. I'm waiting, uh, it'll be about an hour and a half before that d delivery window comes upon us. What do you know guys, as I'm filming this video, that's Comcast calling me right now, they're actually coming early. Now I've never heard of a cable company coming early, but I guess that's Comcast for you. Now a lot of people say that Comcast has bad customer service, now let me tell you my experience with that has been opposite. I've had very good customer service with Comcast, and maybe that's because of uh, the uproar from customers saying that it's bad, because I have had nothing but good with them, and I have nothing really bad to say about them, other than their service packages are a little confusing, and um, you know they're, they could be more human, but that goes for almost every big company. When you call, you almost always get a robot. But Comcast, I've got a lot good to say about them, to be completely honest. I know a lot of people hate them, but uh, there's not much bad that I can personally say about my experience with them. Uh, they've been pretty helpful every time I call. So, what I had to do is I had to go out and get this Doxis 3.1 modem. Now, if you know anything about me, is I could rent my stuff from Comcast. Uh, I live in an apartment. It would be a lot easier for me. I just came from Verizon, so uh, when I was on Verizon, I did rent from them until my speed, I was not reaching the speed that I was supposed to. Now, if you're a baller and money is not an issue, you can do Gigabit Pro, and you can get two gigabits up and two gigabits down. See, the problem in my area is that I can only get Comcast. That, that's my only choice. No, that's quite a monopoly, you say? Yes, it is. It's, it's pretty unfair. Uh, if you go down to the greater Boston area, I do believe you can get Verizon. Unfortunately, I cannot. When I lived about uh, 15 minutes down the road, I was able to get Verizon. Uh, would I like to be able to go back to Verizon? I, I do. Now, if you ask me if I would like to have Verizon right now instead of Comcast, um, I, I believe I would. I would rather have fiber connection because the, the issue with the cable is they do not match your upload with your download. Now let me first speak on another issue. Uh, Comcast TV system, I, I do believe is better than Verizon's. Even though it's Fiverr, um, I, I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Um, I would have to compare them side by side. But I've had more pleasure dealing with the Comcast Xfinity based um, TV remote, the guide, it's much easier to use. I think Verizon may have to update their uh, guide. They may have to update their TV service. I'm not sure what it is. Comcast has it in the TV department, okay? Fios has it in the internet department. Now you could go out and get Fios internet or you could just pay for a Comcast bundle. You could just pay for their Gigabit Pro 
and get their TV, which is what I would do if I was making uh, 100000 a year. I would have no problem paying for that. So basically, let me tell you what Comcast told me really quick. Um, they have told me, you just have, for the Gigabit Pro, you will need an installation. You'll have to pay for the installation. I'm paying $60 for this guy to come here. Um, for, the, for this plan, he's just going to check my wires and make sure that it works. You need a Doxis 3.1 modem, or you need to rent it from Comcast. Now, I already have a router. I have the Nighthawk X10. It's an it's a extreme router. You don't need something that crazy. You could get the X6, or you could get the X3. You don't need something that crazy, but uh, I'm a little bit crazy. So you need this you need this modem, and uh, what this modem is capable of, theoretically, Doxis 3.1 is capable of 10 plus gigabits per second, and this particular modem has two gigabit Ethernet ports, which is really cool. So you can go directly from your modem right to um, your router or another router you can go to two different routers with this modem now if you look on the back here it'll give you some specs here um 4k ultra hd streaming and it'll just compare with some of their other modems it does have a two-year limited warranty future proof your network Basically just telling you that most of the modems sold in the US are Aris surfboard. You don't need any additional software for these. It's basically just plug and play. And if you install this with Comcast, you're going to have to call Comcast and let them know that you've changed your modem. And either, either that or you're going to have to have a service guy here. And basically, this looks just the same as your Doxus 3.0 modems. The only thing is it's capable of a little bit of a higher speed. Now, I did see a Netgear Doxus 3.1 modem at Best Buy, and it was around the same price. And you may ask me, Greg, why didn't you buy the Netgear? If you have a Netgear router, why wouldn't you buy a Netgear modem? Now, I did. I thought about it, but the problem was uh, the speeds were rated a lot lower than this one. And I already have one of these, and I've had no issues with it. And I was... I, I wasn't going to bottleneck myself by buying a modem that was rated lower. This one, the speeds are rated ridiculous on this, more than I need. So I said, hell, I'll buy one that's rated higher than I need. That way, if something comes up and I do need to change my speed higher, I can always upgrade higher. So basically, if you are having the same type of problems that I'm having with your upload speed stuck at 10 megabits per second on Cox, Comcast, or any other cable company, uh, you may not be stuck where you're at. If you buy a Doxis 3.1 modem, you may be able to increase your internet speed. And I'm going to find out today how easy it is. So as soon as this cable guy comes, I'm going to let you guys know what exactly happened. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly unbox this and I'm going to just show you what comes in the box because I know you guys are a little curious if this looks any different than a regular modem. So let's get down and dirty. I'll see you in a moment. One quick note guys, these modems will not give you telephone service if you have telephone service. So you may need to figure that out if you do have uh, the triple play or whatever they call it. So opens up just like a book here. Okay, we've got the router right here. Uh, really nice presentation here. That's where you pay for the presentation, right guys? Really cool. Okay, we've got an Ethernet connection. Ethernet connection, you can use those for your computer. Power connection and coaxial connection. Now, they make this more simple than anything I've ever seen. Okay, uh, now this looks exactly the same. Exactly the same as the other modem. It's in there really tight. Wow. Okay. So this is act this actually might be smaller than the other ones, guys. This is fantastic. Um, we've got some plastic on here. It's wrapped tight up like a mummy. Let's see what else comes in here. Okay, basically got right here. We've got a quick start. See, it comes with the modem, power supply, Ethernet cable software license and guide, support information card, and a quick start guide. So that's basically all you're going to get in this box right here. Close that back up. 
10 gigabits per second. And, uh, and, but with the upload, I do believe there's a limit to the upload. Yeah, it, it did list the upload specs online. I think it's like 300 or something. I will, I will, I will list it, um, in the subtitles. Uh, but the upload is not gigabit. That's the problem with cable. But you are getting an increase with the upload. Okay, this box is very strange. Open that up. Go bang. Okay, we've got a run-of-the-mill Ethernet cord. Uh, it is a little thicker, I think, than most. We've got a do not eat thing. And we've got a run-of-the-mill power cable. Okay, so that's about it, guys. So if you look here at the modem, it says SB8200. Got your two Ethernet ports, your cable wire, and your power outlet. And when you plug this in, you're going to want to wait for all the lights to light up, and then you're ready. You're good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this just like this. I'm going to prep for this cable guy to get here because I don't want the modem and everything to be a mess when he gets here in a few minutes. So I'll check back with you guys in a moment. What's up, guys? We're back, and guess what? Comcast just left, and they hooked up my new modem. The box is right here. The modem's over there. And guess what? I'm getting close to gigabit speeds on cable. This is incredible, guys. This is awesome. So if any of you guys are looking to increase your internet speed, all you need to do is get yourself a Doxus 3.1 modem. It's so simple. So that's basically the gist of this video. So if you want to increase your internet speed, all you need to do is get a Doxus 3.1 modem, give Comcast a call, tell them you plugged it in, read your serial number, and they'll set that up. So when this cable guy came here, he didn't test my cables. He said he went outside and checked them out. But what I'm going to tell Comcast is uh, this guy did not do an installation or anything. I shouldn't be charged a $60 fee because he did not test anything or anything like that. All he did was read some numbers off this, and I could have done that, which is what I told them initially, but they refused, and they told me someone had to come out here. So that's usually what they do, and I knew they were going to do that. But guess what? I'm not putting up with that. I told them that I would be able to do this myself. They didn't want to believe me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get that fee reversed, and if I can, I will. So if you want to upgrade your internet, just grab yourself a Doxus 3.1 modem, and it's as simple as that. And I'll show you my internet speeds and what I'm getting. It's pretty amazing. So check it out right here. This is what I'm getting. I had a few test runs where the router actually needed to be uh, rebooted a few times. But now I'm getting 800 megabits download and over 40. So I'm subscribed to 35. So I'm getting five more than I'm subscribed to. So that's pretty awesome. So for the quality of my streams and how long it's going to take to upload to YouTube is going to change uh, threefold. So it's going to take me three times less to upload to YouTube and hopefully that I'll be able to use the full quality of my webcam. I got this 4K webcam last week and I'll only be able to stream at 720p at the quality of internet that I was at right now. 10 megabits per second is not enough to stream in 4K. You can only stream at 720p. So with this new upgrade, I may be able to stream at a higher resolution, which is really exciting for me. Uh, I would really love to stream maybe at uh, 1080p, maybe even 1440p, maybe even 4K. So we'll, we'll see, guys. You know, this is this is cool for me. I can kind of tinker around with it, uh, play around with the settings, and then check that little green bar and see it, see exactly where we're at. So I'll definitely follow up with you guys in another video. You guys can check out my streams. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be notified when I come live on YouTube, which will probably be once a week or so. I'm um, kind of liking the whole streaming thing. It, it kind of gives me an outlet. And I've been collaborating with some other YouTubers. So it's been really fun. So, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe. Uh, definitely smack that like button if you're enjoying the content that I'm making on this channel. This is a little quick video just telling you that if you do want to increase your internet speed, all you need to do is get these new Doxus 3.1 modems. Uh, you're probably on Doxus 3.0, so that 0.1 will increase your capabilities quite a bit. 
So that's pretty cool, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'm out for now. So remember, you can follow me at social media at Pizzles Tech Time. And if you have any questions at all, just leave them down below. Uh, that'll be kind of our debate. If you have any questions or if you want to ask me anything, just ask me anything. I'll always answer. I'm here for you guys always. So thanks for watching once again, guys. I'll holler at you all later. Have a great day. Peace. <music>